Hello everyone. In today's video we are going to talk about microservices versus API. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, whenever we start writing the code for the software, we should consider the implementation and architecture of the code. The software, system or application is only effective when we write it and it makes sense logically. The architecture is important, but we should also consider that the interaction of the user with the system and how the user will experience those interfaces of the system. API and microservices are both involved in the structure and interaction of any software or system. Sometimes people think of the microservices as the endpoint for the API, but in reality, it is much more than that. And it is more flexible and has more capabilities than just the endpoint. So before jumping into finding out the differences and comparing APIs and microservices, let's understand both of them first. Microservices. Microservices is an architecture pattern that is service oriented. With its help, we build apps as a collection of various, most minor independent units, and each unit performs and offers a different service. We decompose the whole application by following the software engineering approach, and we decompose it to have a single function in each module and well-defined interfaces, and we can develop those modules independently and deploy them as standalone systems. With the help of microservices, we can deploy the application as small pieces of independent applications independent of each other. They are loosely coupled but are tied together with the application integration. If we talk about the development and software engineering perspective, microservices are simpler to develop and as they have a small scope, they are small in size. Their size and scope make it easier for the developer to improve them with the help of continuous integration and delivery. Microservices are independent of any programming language and we can develop them in any programming language. Different microservices are connected with the help of APIs. That's it for the microservices. We have a detailed video on microservices as well. Now let's talk about APIs. Well, API stands for an application programming interface. If we talk about its definition, it is a set of communication protocol, subroutine definitions, and tool for building the software. It is a set of clearly defined methods of communication between various components. If I talk in layman language, API is like any communication tool. With the help of it, different services can interact with each other. The API application is being used in web applications such as social media, e-commerce, banking applications and web applications. API is being used in a lot of mobile apps as well. Let's say you are making an Android app and you want to include the functionality of navigation into your application. To do that, you have to integrate the Google API into your application. And now your application will be able to use and provide the navigation feature to the users of your application. Using the API does not mean that we own that functionality. Let's say Google changes some feature of the navigation and because of that, the same feature will also get applied to your application. Yes, we can modify and use the selected functionality from the API, but still we cannot own it. Now, let's talk about API action. Well, there are different actions that API performs. First one is get. It gets a single item or a collection. Then comes the post. It adds an item to a collection. Then we have put. Put action edits an item that already exists in a collection. Then we have delete action. Well, obviously, as the name suggests, it deletes an item from a collection. Well, there are two types of APIs, the external one and the internal one. The external APIs are those APIs that are available to anyone and are not part of the organizations. For example, the Google Maps API is the external one. The second type of APIs is the internal one. And this type of API does not need to be available publicly. And these are used for communication internally. For example, 
API gets used for intercommunication within the application and it is only accessible to the organization and the people in it. Now let's talk about the difference between microservices and APIs. Well, API is like a contract that guides how to use the underlying services, whereas microservices is an architectural design or are architectural design that are used to separate an extensive system into the more minor independent and self-containing services. And second difference is that microservices are loosely coupled, mostly independent of each other. And if there is any change in one microservice, it cannot affect the other microservice. But yes, if the functionality is linked together, which means the output from one microservice will be the input for some other microservice. But on the other hand, APIs does not have this case. The underlying application using the API is entirely dependent on it. As I gave the example of Google Maps API, the underlying application can only use those things provided by the API of the Google Map. So that was all about the differences between the microservices and APIs. In the end, I would talk about an essential thing and that is API is not only used for the communication between the client and the services or the example I have given that you will need an API to get the navigation functionality from the Google. You can also use and you also need the API to communicate between different components of the same system. Same goes for microservices. It would be best if you had APIs for the communication between the microservices. It will be misleading if we try to compare the differences between APIs and microservices because APIs are an essential part of any microservice. Every microservice in the architecture has its API and the API allows communication between the different components of the microservices architecture. A microservice architecture can have many APIs. So I would say that microservices and APIs are used for different purposes, but microservices are the users of APIs and APIs are independent of microservices. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope now that now you know that what are the differences between microservices and APIs and where we should use them and how they work. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. Till the next video, take care.